I don't know if you can tell or not, but I have a bit of a cold. Um, my sleeping bag finally arrived, and I couldn't be more excited. So I'm going to share with you a little bit about this. And um, oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this for seven weeks. So I purchased my sleeping bag from Enlightened Equipment. I did the Revelation custom quilt. Be really careful when you open these. It says right on there. <laughs> Don't use something sharp. I can't use my teeth, so. Um, I decided to go with Enlightened Equipment because you get to make your own quilt. This is not a mummy bag, which I used last year on the AT. I used the <clears throat> um, Sierra Design uh, mummy bag. This time I'm going with the quilt because I got a little claustrophobic when I couldn't move my feet in the mummy bag. And this you can open up into a full blanket. Uh, what's cool about the Revelation um, sleeping bag is you can custom pick your colors even. So um, that's kind of nice. My last bag was really light colors and you could definitely see the, the dirt and stuff like grime after being out there a while. This is so exciting. Show the logo here. Enlightened equipment. All right. Woohoo! Look at this. So my favorite color is purple. <clears throat> and I figured this was a nice dark color for the outside. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Um, to kind of hide the dirt. And then the inside I went with the orange, the bright orange. And uh, probably color-wise, it wouldn't be my first choice if I were picking my favorite color. Um, but one of the things I thought about was if I'm ever stuck or in a bad situation, I can turn this around. And that's going to be a nice, huge play. You'll pay them over here. So just thinking outside the box. So looking at this guy, I got the regular length and the wide. So you do get to pick how long and how wide your bag is. You also get to pick the fill amount. So I have a 950 fill amount. So this bag is supposed to be good down to about 17 or zero degree, I think it's a zero degree bag. Pretty sure it was a zero. <laughs> I went back and forth a few times. The toe box is actually open, but one of the things that's kind of cool about this is you can just cinch it right closed. So, you know, you can either have no air or a little bit of air, or you can undo the entire thing. There's a partial zipper here at the lower bottom of the toe box, just to make sure your, your um, heat is trapped down there. I think you guys can see all this. And that lower part. Yeah, so this is really interesting. Look, I could still wobble around like a giant um, caterpillar <laughs> with this bag. Very cool. And then the quilt side of it, one side is solid, obviously. Ooh, static. Here we go. Look at that. And then you have these nice little clips that just pull it apart. And you can open it up. There's a couple snaps near the top. Oh, and it becomes a big, cozy blanket. Oh my gosh, I'm so stoked for this to arrive. Look at this beanie. It doesn't look very big, but... <laughs> I'm ready for the Sierras. Yeah, let's do it. Let's bring on the snow and the cold and the cold desert nights getting really close. Uh, this is so nice. I am so happy right now. Gee, so they're a company that I actually wrote a sponsorship letter to asking if they would be willing to sponsor me or let me be an ambassador for them. Um, they weren't looking for any more ambassadors at the time, but they did uh, give me a 10% discount for asking. So it never hurts to ask. Um, I'm going to be putting out a video about sponsorships and becoming ambassadors becoming an ambassador for the, all that kind of stuff. Um, I actually picked up a company um, that I'm stoked about called Your Super. Um, they do these um, healthy, organic uh, superfood mixes, which obviously as a hiker, three of the foods that we always lack in the most are vegetables, fruits, and proteins because they spoil so fast and they're heavy. But these little powder mixes, you can put in your oatmeal, this chocolate lover, or there's a berry one that's really good in water, and a greens mix, a muscle powder mix, which is more protein-based. 
So I'm really excited to try those out and just put them in some baggies and take them with me and see what kind of energy and extra life those give me out there. So I'm really stoked to be supporting this company. Um, but anyway, yeah, so here's my new sleeping bag, my quilt for the Pacific Crest Trail. I am super stoked. Uh, just a few more weeks and I'll be heading out there. I'm here in Nashville currently doing a mural. I just finished it actually yesterday. Um, I'll post a video of that so you guys can see it. I did a little time lapse, kind of fun. Um, it's Saturday, so I'm all dolled up because I'm gonna go out. This is probably the last time I'm gonna get to go out for the next six or seven months. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, that being said, I do have most all the rest of my other equipment. I'll be heading off to San Diego here shortly. Um, I'm gonna do my entire gear review video in San Diego with all my odds and ends. I have things being mailed from everywhere. Uh, so I still have everything kind of like spread out a little bit right now. Um, plus, you don't want to hear me do a whole gear review video of all measly like this. You're already dealing with it for this video. But anyway, thank you guys for checking this out. And uh, I hope you enjoyed my little time lapse of my mural. And in the meantime, stay tuned. In the meantime. <laughs> and in the meantime, stay tuned. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I have a Patreon account now if you want to see some of the behind-the-scenes stuff that I won't be posting on YouTube, including art that I create. Actually, I am currently working on my first velvet painting here. This is for the guitarist of Collective Soul, which is kind of cool. It's a surprise. Shh. His birthday is not until April, so don't tell anybody. Um, <laughs> and some other odd and end projects that I need to wrap up and send out before I leave. I'm trying to make all that money, you know, so I can, I can survive. But, uh, I also have a GoFundMe, so if you are interested in having any of my art, uh, part of my GoFundMe program is if you donate a certain amount of money, I promise you art that I've created while on the trail. So um, I'll show you a sample here in a second of what I did this year, this last year. I'll show you a sample <laughs> of what I did <clears throat> last year on the AT, um, basically taking little watercolors that I did. I map them, I write where I was, I date them, I sign them, I frame them all nice and I send them out to you as a thank you for donating food money. <laughs>